The draw for 2022 ATP Finals came out yesterday and it's the worst case scenario for Novak and another cakewalk draw for Nadal. When I made the video about fixed draws, the rival fans said all the usual stuff. It's all a coincidence. Djokovic fans are conspiracy theorists. ATP is not against Novak. Djokovic fans are just imagining things. Well, it turns out that five days ago I made a prediction about the ATP Finals draw and I guessed the groups almost perfectly. My prediction was that Nadal's group would be Rude, Rublev and Fritz and Novak's group would be Medvedev, Tsitsipas and Felix Auger Aliasim. And it turns out that I guessed correctly three out of the four players in both groups. As I predicted, Nadal got Rude and Fritz in his group and Nova got Medvedev and Tsitsipas. The only players that I got wrong are FAA and Rublev. But the funny thing is that Felix and Rublev were the players that could have gone either way. What was crystal clear is that Medvedev and Tsitsipas are the strongest possible opponents, which is why I correctly predicted that they would be in the same group as Nova. And that Rude and Fritz are the weakest players in the draw, which is why I correctly guessed that they would be placed in Nadal's group. So we have three players who have won this tournament in the past, Novak, Medvedev and Tsitsipas, all in the same group. Isn't that wonderful? Many people were hoping that Novak and Nadal would be in the same group, but that was naive. We know that ATP would never let that happen, because it's been almost a decade since Nadal won a set against Novak on hard courts. ATP doesn't want Nadal humbled. As I said in my previous video, they want to install him as number one, and this draw is yet another piece of evidence that points to that. To obtain his asterisk number one ranking, Nadal would have to either win all three of his group matches and reach the final, or if he loses a match in the group, he will have to win the title. As you probably know, Nadal has embarrassingly never won the ATP finals in his 20 years on the tour. If Nadal somehow becomes number one, he will pass Roger Federer in year-end number ones. I wonder how Federer fans feel about the blatant favoritism Nadal has enjoyed this season, which has helped him to surpass some of Roger's records. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.